Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. A telephone call was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. During the call, His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman exchanged good wishes on the advent of Eid al Fitr, wishing the two brotherly countries and their peoples more progress and prosperity, as well as many happy returns to Arab and Islamic nations. His Majesty the King reviewed with His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman the long-standing Bahraini-Saudi relations and strategic cooperation that are based on solid foundations of understanding, coordination, joint action and support for shared interests. His Majesty King Hamad expressed pride in the strong fraternal relations between the two kingdoms' leaderships and peoples. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Prime Minister of Iraq, Mustafa Al Kadmi. His Majesty the King and Iraqi Prime Minister exchanged greetings on Eid al Fitr, wishing the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns and further progress and prosperity. In a message marking the World Press Freedom Day, which is observed on May 3rd, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa praised the enlightening role of the responsible press. His Majesty lauded Bahrain's press and media institutions, thanking all their affiliates for their constructive efforts in promoting the role of journalism in enhancing awareness and enlightened thought and conveying the civilizational image of the Kingdom of Bahrain as an advanced model in protecting rights and freedom. His Majesty the King described the media and press as an inherent part of the kingdom's democratic and development march and the community's cultural legacy, which is based on diversity, pluralism and openness. His Majesty affirmed the significant role of the national press and media in boosting the recovery pace at all levels and achieving the national development goals with the return of life to normality in Bahrain and across the world after the COVID-19 pandemic experience. He pointed out the efforts being made by His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, in this respect. His Majesty the King commended the professional response of the national media and press to the technological advancements in the sector. He praised the adoption of a modern and advanced message to upgrade various platforms and cope with the modern digital development in the world. He stressed commitment at the same time to values and criteria that reflect the Kingdom's identity, deep-rooted values and commitment to tolerance and coexistence being indispensable common humanitarian values for the development of mankind. His Majesty the King reiterated continuous support to the press and media community to keep abreast of the ongoing developments in this field and further upgrade the sector. He expressed keenness on more accomplishments by the national media and press establishments, wishing them every success in attaining the desired goals. Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawziya bin Abdullah Zainal, has lauded the contents of the message by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to mark the World Press Freedom Day. Zainal affirmed that His Majesty the King is the primary supporter of freedom of opinion, expression, the press and the media, and what has been achieved in the reform project and the comprehensive development process according to a royal vision that always emphasizes support for responsible freedom of opinion and expression and its enlightening role in building renaissance and effective partnership in all projects and initiatives and national programs. She added that the contents of the message of His Majesty the King established the principles and values of supporting the honest and responsible press release in various sectors of the press and media and preserving the honor of the charter of this prestigious profession. The praise of His Majesty the King for the press institutions and the national media and for all of the employees of these institutions for their constructive role in consolidating the noble message of journalism, a high national honor and renewed responsibility to defend the honor of the profession and to achieve the aspirations of the nation and citizens, which put the supreme interest at the pro top priorities for her journalistic and media work. Zainal explained that the high reference to the role of the press and national media in facing the corona pandemic, promoting the pace of recovery at various levels and achieving the national goals, we aspire for growth and sustainable progress within the plans and programs led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Speaker of the Representatives Council pointed out that the continuity of the royal support to meet the aspirations of the press and media confirms in a great way what His Majesty gives to support the press and media work to perform his mission enlightenment. 
Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, stressed that the reform project of His Majesty the King has consolidated the foundations and principles of freedom of opinion and expression and has opened up broad prospects for the local press for active and positive participation in the fields of renaissance and progress witnessed by the kingdom since the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. The Chairman of the Shura Council praised the royal visions and the comprehensive aspirations that made freedom of the press as part of the democratic process that is full of achievements and successes. El Saleh expressed his high pride in the contents of the message by His Majesty the King on the occasion of World Press Freedom Day and the noble and comprehensive royal visions it contained. He indicated that the local press and the free and responsible media role it plays is an essential partner in highlighting the national achievements that are achieved thanks to the continuous efforts undertaken by the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He praised the outstanding performance of the national press and the efforts of the Ministry of Media Affairs, local newspapers, journalists, media professionals, and opinion writers are fruitful endeavors to strengthen the position of the press and to confirm its enlightening and important role in spreading societal awareness and giving priority to the higher interests of the nation through responsible speech and a purposeful and constructive media message. Minister of Information Ali bin Mohammed al rumahi has lauded His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa's message marking the World Press Freedom Day, which is observed globally on May 3rd. The Minister of Information extended deepest congratulations to His Majesty the King on Eid al Fitr, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect him and enable him to continue enhancing the kingdom's progress march. The Minister asserted that the keynote annual royal message on the World Press Freedom Day reflects His Majesty the King's belief in the freedom of opinion and appreciation for press. Personal. He added that His Majesty King Hamad's pride in the performance of the national press and media is a catalyst for continuing to assume national responsibilities. al rumehi extended gratitude to His Majesty the King for his unwavering royal interest in the press and media community in the kingdom. He indicated that His Majesty the King's directives have contributed to increasing the achievements of the press and media institutions in the kingdom as they motivated them to attain more successes and therefore maintain their leading role in marking responsible freedom of speech, one of the distinctive features of the development march enjoyed by the kingdom during His Majesty the King's prosperous era. The Information Affairs Minister congratulated the press and media community in the kingdom on the World Press Freedom Day, wishing the press and media institutions in the kingdom every success in attaining more achievements. Marking Eid al-Fitr celebrations, the Ministry of Information continues to organize its daily activities in the Heritage Village in Ras Hayyan in the Southern Governorate. The festival's activities include performances by folk bands and a market that includes various shops and products, as well as entertainment programs for children. It will continue until May 7th. The Heritage Village reflects on important aspects of the development process of the Kingdom of Bahrain related to people and construction. Eid al-Fitr prayers were performed early Monday in Saudi Arabia's Grand Mosque in Mecca as well as all mosques across the kingdom, marking the first Eid prayers held at full capacity since the pandemic's onset. Mosques started operating at full capacity again in mid-October last year when Saudi Arabia eased its COVID-19 measures as cases began to drop and most of the Saudi population had already began, already been vaccinated with at least two shots. After Eid prayers, families and friends gathered to celebrate and give gifts which include money, toys and new clothes often provided to children. Saudi Arabia's King Salman bin Abdulaziz and Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman performed Eid prayers at the Grand Mosque in Mecca. Millions of Egyptians on Monday celebrated the first day of Eid al-Fitr as public parks and beaches across the country witnessed huge attendance and many performed the Eid prayers in major mosques and their attached yards. In Alexandria, the beaches and parks welcomed thousands of citizens to celebrate the holiday while many from the neighboring governorates eagerly flocked to beaches, parks and zoos. At the city of Benha, hundreds of citizens went out to celebrate on the Nile Kurdish, which was filled to the brim with citizens and residents eager to celebrate, aid and take photos. Hundreds of citizens at Sohag went out to public parks and gardens to enjoy their holiday. The flower garden at Karaman Island in the middle of the Nile in Sohag city recorded the highest turnout rates. 
and more than 200,000 worshippers performed their Eid al-Fitr prayers peacefully at the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound on Monday. Al-Aqsa courtyards were packed with pilgrims from Jerusalem, the West Bank, and Palestinians living in Israel. An atmosphere of joy and happiness prevailed among those who could reach the mosque, and volunteers distributed toys to ch children in the dome of the rock area. The worshippers affirmed that they would remain loyal to Al-Aqsa Mosque and remain steadfast in their pledge to protect Al-Aqsa. In the Ibrahimi Mosque in Hebron, Southern West Bank, about 3,000 performed eight prayers at the, as the recitation of the holy verses rang out from the mosques in the town.